Here in the heart of Torrance, we're building a foundation of success in all we do. Keeping our community safe and strong remains a top priority. As we add new freeway on-ramps in North Torrance and safely reopen a stretch of this South Torrance roadway affected by the winter storms. We also pride ourselves in being one of the most patriotic cities in the United States. This was our 62nd year of honoring our military heroes at the nation's longest running Armed Forces Day parade and celebration. And every November, neighbors share their words of gratitude during Veterans Appreciation Week, a time when we can also share a warm meal with our past servicemen and women, introduce them to resources that allow them to keep thriving in torrents. For the past couple of years, we've also seen success with our 3290 Temporary Housing Village, where nearly 50 individuals found long-term housing and a total of nearly 500 people received much needed help from our city staff and partners. Just across from our Civic Center, a large crowd of us gathered once again for the best seats of the 4th of July fireworks. And for the first time in years, city employees relaxed together at one of our parks on a Saturday introducing their families and colleagues and enjoying burgers, churros, and ice cream served by their bosses. Another one of my priorities is making sure our city maintains strong and disciplined financial health. Measure SST, which voters passed in 2022, generated more than $20 million in annual sales tax revenue, which will be used to enhance the quality of life for the residents of Torrance. We just celebrated the ribbon cutting for our real-time response center which integrates live camera footage, advanced technology, and crime analytics to get the critical incidents faster and investigate smarter. For the first time in our city's history, we received a prestigious award for excellently operating our budget from the state's premier association for finance professionals. Our balanced budget last fiscal year includes nearly a half a billion dollars, allowing us to save for a rainy day while continuing to improve our programs and public services. And finally, our growing business community reaches new milestones. As a tech hub of the South Bay, we took part in Honda's fuel cell vehicle transition announcement and got a first look at Scorpius Space Launch Company's largest propellant tank. Before it began its roughly 2,500 mile journey to Florida, where we'll blast off into space. As one of the highest value cities in LA County and with our hotels boasting the most number of heads and beds compared to our neighbors, corporations, shops, and restaurants are keeping our giant scissors snipping at ribbon cuttings across torrents. We're getting a lot of firsts, like California's first drive through Shake Shack, the country's first location for Kaburi Chicken, a fried chicken chain from Japan, and the first Apple store opening in Simon Mall in years. Our community continues to expand outside of city borders as well. Last year, we made an unforgettable trip to Kashua, Japan to celebrate our 50th sister city anniversary. We also gained multiple friendship cities in Taiwan, Korea, and Japan, including two with home cities of two major baseball stars, Yoshinobu Yamamoto and Shohei Otani, giving new excitement for future Torrance Dodger days. This is just a taste of all the successes we have seen the last year. I am looking forward to continuing to build on that foundation for growth. <laughs>